Here is our configuration. HP Victus RTX 4050, 6 gigs of VRAM, 96 bits memory bus width, accompanied with Core i5-1250H. Uh, we got 16 gigs of RAM and we got NVMe 1 terabyte. That's pretty much it. Afterburner doesn't show GPU temperatures, but we have NVIDIA Experience Overlay, which shows temperatures of 40, 50. It's 73 degrees right now and 77 for CPU. So we will be looking for both. So what we have right now, what we're looking right now, it's, uh, it's a DLSS 3 with a frame generation. It's playable. I don't see in single games frame generation is a big issue. However, on the bright spots, you can definitely see the artifacts. So I don't see much artifacts here. Let me show you where I found artifacts in. Okay, so here, here we can see artifacts definitely. If you move it slowly, you won't notice it. But if you drag in it with a persistent speed, you can see them in the corners right and left do you see artifacts i can see them definitely and that's a note monitor lcd ghost you know anything like that that's a quick 144 hertz lcd screen it's not the best as per brightness but as per response yeah it's good but artifacts are definitely there definitely there you can see them but again gameplay wise oh yeah it's playable single play i take it okay let me show you the difference with dlss frame generation off so once i by the way native resolution is 1027 over 678 so once I shut down frame generation and crank it to the native one, we get steady 55-ish, 44. That's an RT preset, not RT Ultra, but RT preset. So it's a ray tracing in place, heavy ray tracing and uh, it's sagging right away it doesn't do good it's still playable it's still level of gaming console i would say but near the close as with the frame generation to 80 fps or 70 fps so here on rt profile we have performance anti-aliasing dlss dlss quality on quality and everything else is on except nvidia hair works we have vc and cough of course nvidia reflects low latency on and here you have it here is it's definitely more clear it's definitely doesn't feel soft as with a frame generation because with frame generation, it, it gets softer and more darker on the edges. You can tell the difference on the edges right away. Let me show you. So if we enable frame generation, we get steady. 73-ish but I can tell the picture gets darker and the edges get more softer and these weird artifacts in place right away on the left and on the right it's noticeable you can tell that they are there
I can I can't really say that it adds extra latency on single player games. It feels the same. Witcher is a single player RPG game and uh, there is not much response needed from game engine to play it. to compare it with I would say so if we shut down frame generation and uh, disable RT leave DLSS on quality and everything else will be on ultra game gets up to 50 fps take a look at the temperatures intel core i5 fighting for its life from 85 degrees to 78 rtx 40 50 TD sits on 70, 72 degrees. It's right bottom corner. Sorry, I like I said, GPU itself is a relatively new, so Afterburner doesn't know much about it yet about sensors. GeForce Experience definitely know about GPU core and reflex information, but I can't really enlarge it. I can't scale it up to the readable parameters like with a on-screen display from Riva Tuner statistic server 74 degrees close to I think if you play hardcore something fast pace not be surprised it'll crank up to 80 degrees definitely cooling pad is needed for this one to chill it down but it's playable overall it is playable it's not steady 60 fps on ultra it's here and there 55 50 48 depends on the temperature i think um, gpu and cpu are fighting for its life and doing what it, what they can to survive in this harsh environment oh it start flickering i see the flicker a couple times so 58 watts right now consumed by gpu and uh, 35 watts consumed by cpu so combined it gets to 110 of the laptop yeah i don't see it works long term honestly with such cooling apparently you will get much better fps with decent cooling or putting your laptop in the fridge and playing on external monitor maybe so that's about witcher let me know in the comments below if you want to see something else it's a novigrad most demanding location i showed you the frame generation i showed you rt and uh, ultra preset i think we made all check boxes for the witcher